Hi, Pete Moore, editor of Shooting Sports Magazine. Welcome to Gun Mart TV. And as I promised, we have a new and rather exciting rifle. If you've been watching this video channel, uh, good luck to you. Uh, we were looking at the Bagara B14 um, HMR Hunter Marksman rifle. This is its big brother, the BMP, Bagara Match Precision Rifle. In terms of the build, it's identical. It's a Remington 700 type build, takes Remington 700 mounts, five shot detachable box magazine, rolling lever safety, rear safe with bolt operation, front fire. Uh, what makes this gun different is it's really, as, as the name says, it, it's a precision match. We could, we could call it a sniper rifle, a tactical rifle, call it a varmint rifle. But Bagara, who well, we all know makes some su superb barrels, have sat down and looked at all the chassis system guns and the fact that the chassis systems are getting very popular these days, which they are, and they've built their own gun. It's fantastic. It's got a high strength aluminium chassis, a little bit like the MDT skinny chassis you see on some of the, Mos some of the Mosbergs. Um, but again, you have this massive free float around the barrel, as you can see, it's huge. So, and this forend is as rigid as a rigid thing, believe you me. Um, this gun is in 6.5 Creedmoor, which is a personal favorite of mine, with a 24 inch barrel. Um, the barrel again is medium heavy or light heavy, whatever you want to call it, but it's, it's a chunk of barrel and it, does, it gets hot, but it doesn't bend too much. Um, in Creedmoor, it's one in eight twists, so you're happy with 140 grain projectiles plus and probably downwards as well to 123s, 130s. Uh, Creedmoor has a good rep for accuracy across the board. Um, I'm told it's an easy 1,000 meter cartridge and I don't disagree with it. You can also get this rifle in 308 where you've got a choice of 20 inch barrel, 24 inch barrel in 308 and it's a 1 in 10 twist so it should support heavier bullets, 170s, 168, AMAX, that sort of thing, ELDX. Um, where it does differ, which I quite like, is that it hasn't got the compulsory, or this model hasn't got the compulsory CAR-15 buffer tube on it. The Bagara say, design this own, okay, they've obviously copied this a little bit, but they designed the back end themselves, which is very nice. Aluminium, you've got high adjustable cheek piece, again, with the same easy to use leave, uh, thumb screws. Goes up like so which is nice, so whatever optics you want to put on there, if you've got like a high-mounted night vision scope, that will sort you out nicely. Length of pull, same principle. We unwind this. Goes forward and back like so. With again, with something like great big long arms, ideal. And then a more a match type feature, which is still, I, I feel quite valid on this sort of rifle. You've got an adjustable recoil pad. So you unslack this wheel here, and it goes up and down, it moves left and right, you can cant it. So it's got like surfaces that lock together. It's like, like heavy rubber with, with sand in them, so they, they lock together. And you can fit the gun up exactly how you want. Uh, sadly, you won't be shooting this today because um, I'm waiting for a 20 MOA scope mount for it, but that'll be another video. Um, so the HMR will be in Shooting Sports November issue, which is the one we're working on now. This will be in the month after. Uh, this gun is shredded 18 by one mil from Modi. Uh, trigger's nice. It's firm, it breaks at about, probably about three pound from my trusty Mark One finger, but it's easy to, easy to use, get on it, just feel it. Slight squeeze, it's crisp, it breaks. There's no drag, there's no nothing on it at all. Um, this gun, much like the HMR, has massive potential for accuracy. And I believe this has more potential than the HMR because it's more based for target shooting, longer range shooting, for whatever purpose you want for it. Also, it has a, an M16 style pistol grip, which I would guess, and I think I'd be right saying, you could take this off and put something else on there if it suits you better. But um, not terribly expensive. I think they're around about 14, 1500 pounds, you know, ballpark, which for a gun of this quality is quite amazing, uh, given that a lot of the big chassis systems are going for 2K plus. Um, this is another one to look out for, and I'm looking forward to getting this scoped up and start shooting it. But we'll let you know. So it'll be in Shooting Sports December issue, and it'll be the subject of our next video 
promotions. So keep an eye out for it if you're looking for something that's a little bit different but eminently shootable.